Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss in Siemens Step 7 PLC program software when we are using function FC or function block. When we multiple use the function or function block in multiple places, how can we specifically monitor the target FC or FB? How can we monitor inside how they can run? Because FC or FB they are multiple used, especially for the FB. They have a multiple instant DB in multiple places. And actually the method is very simple. In Siemens support website, it called this way named desired call environment. Okay. And in this support ID, if you browse support.industry.siemens.com, and if you see this ID number 21, 67 15 63 and you will see this desired call environment and you can see the detail setting here and in this video i will demonstrate this and in this pictures they especially show if you are using fc and multiple place you are called fc how can we call this target fc how can we monitor inside that specific place right you can use this call block and select this monitor with call up path. And since this support explained how can we call the FC, so in this video, I will especially show how can we call the FB, how can we monitor the FB, okay? And quickly demonstrate this, how can we use this? And in this example, I'm using 300 PLC as my CPU, and I'm using the simulated controller. Okay, I'm using the PLC SIM. And here I create the FB. And in this FB, FB10 is very simple. In OB1, I call two times FB10. It's instant named instant 11 and instant 12. I especially like to show there are two instant call here. And inside this IP10, it's very simple. The bool logic, I'm using the AND. So we can see the difference between the group 1 and the group 2. Same as a calculation here. The data 1, data 2, they are real. And I'm using the plus add. And this is the add result. Okay? And the logic is very simple. Now, I download all the logic here. So I will select all and download logic. In the meantime, to monitor this data, group one, bool one, bool two, group one, real one, real two. This is the group two, bool one, bool two, real one, real two. I create the variable list here. So you can right click, click this uh, variable table. And now if I double click this variable table, we can see this is the group one data, bool. And uh, this is the real real one, real two, and this is the result, okay? So now if I like to transfer the real one, real two to group one and group two, set them into a different value. So I'm gonna set this value. As we can see, the result now, the group one equal to 30. This is the calculation result. And here, this is 36, okay? So now if I go to the monitor here, as we can see here, so the result is showing here. And now, if I set bool one to the group two value, I set this two, and we can see it is calculating, it's doing the end logic for this result, okay? So the result is showing here, okay? Sometimes we like to specially monitor what the calculation result inside especially for troubleshooting. For example, you can imagine if this FB10 is working for the motor and the second group motor now cannot be turned on. For example, this result has something wrong. You especially like to see what the calculation result inside. But the trouble now we have, the FB10 is being called in multiple places, right? Probably you have 20 motors and this IP10 has been used for 
20 times somewhere. How can we specially monitor this group two, the second motors, right? So now if I click here, open or monitor, let's click open here. And I'm going to monitor. And then let me drag this window to here. I was online and I right click, click this open. But the current online status, what is showing actually came from the first one, the IP10. The first one, the instant 11, as we can see the result here is showing 30. Okay, but my actual target, I like to monitor the group two. I especially like to troubleshoot this group two result inside. But now what is showing here, it is group one data. So for example, now if I change this 11 to eight, transfer, and uh, I can turn this on, and uh, we can monitor here. I will lock it, as we can see here. So this result shows eight, and this result shows here, the one. It's actually showing the group one. Okay, so if I close, I right click, click the monitor, just try another way. Okay, as we can see, while I'm opening this, it's actually not showing the group two, it is only showing the group one. So if you have a multiple DBs, sometimes this current status inside will super confuse for you which motor or which function block instant it is represent. This, so this is a big problem while we are using the FC or FB when they are multiple code. Okay, to solve this problem, this is the code desired call environmental or we call it target the instant DB or the target FB or FC. Let's monitor inside the target FB, FC. So to do this, from this ladder logic here, let's go to the debug select this operation and we can see the default is selecting the process operation so we can select the test operation okay people will ask what the difference between this we can click this help and then we can see the explanation for this process and test operation so the only trouble of the test operation it will cost the cpu high workload Potentially, it could increase the CPU scan cycle time. That's why default, it always select the process operation. And But once you finish your test, don't forget switch back to the process operation. Okay, don't forget switch back. Now we select this temporarily. Okay, then we can monitor the specific FB10. For example, now I especially like to monitor the this FB10. So I can open this FB10. Okay, now this FB10. But how can I select the instant DB behind? Okay, now let's go back to the debug. Now we will see. After we select the operation test mode, then this code environment will be highlighted. That's why in Siemens it called desired code environment. Okay, let's click this code environment. It has this co-op path and uh, this menu way. So the detailed explanation, you better reveal this web page, okay? This co-op path, basically they are being used for the FC cases, FC cases. Now we are using FB. So the case will be slightly different. So if we are using the IB here, since the IB has zero instant DB, so when we especially like to monitor the second instant DB, see now I can click this open DB, open data blocks. And in this instant DB number here, I can select the instant DB. Okay, let's recall, in this case, I have a one IB10 and I have a two instant DBs. First one, instant 11, second one, instant 12. And I especially like to monitor this instant DB 12. So here I can select the 12. 
and the 12 means the second group, right? The group two. So now if I click OK, after click OK, now let's click the monitor. So this time, as we can see, this result, now the current online status now, it is showing the second group. So if I turn off this, you will see this off. I turn it on, this on. And I change the result, set this to 15. Okay, we can see 15, 23, 38 here. The current status now is showing the group two. And now stay as this is IP10. If I like to monitor the group one, the instant 11, so now I can switch this call environment and I can set the 11 instant DB here and I can click OK. Monitor again. As we can see now, what is showing represent the group one. If I turn this on, okay, they all on. If I turn this off, we'll see zero, one, zero, one. Result equal to 28. Now the current status is showing the group one data. Okay, so this is step seven. How can we monitor the desired co-environment? So the only trouble now, what we have, so while we are going online, we don't know the current online status. It represent the group one, the instant 11, or the group two, instant 12. So no place to show what the current instant DB we are running. This is the only trouble. So to reveal this, you can go to the code environment. Okay, online, while you are online, you cannot monitor that. You better click, double check, click OK, and then click the online. So every time, keep in mind, you must be very clear which instant DB you are monitoring, okay? To compare, if you are using the FC, so you can select this call up pass because FC doesn't have the instant DB, right? It rely on this call up pass. And then after this, you can select the target FC. Then you can select the call block and select this monitor with a call up pass. Then the online status inside this FC will specially follow this pass you are looking for. Okay, this code desired call environment. Don't forget, after we test this, so select this operation, switch back to this process operation. All right, this is how can we call, how can we monitor the specific IFB or IFC. In the next video, I will show in TI portal, how can we do this? Actually, in TI portal is much easier than the step seven, this conversional software. See you in next video. I will show how can we do this in TI portal. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.